Joey. I am the main developer behind Glider Island here found on Steam. I just want to give you a quick update of where the game is headed and what I've been working on. Um, to be honest, I've just kind of been redoing everything. Uh, I'm redoing the scenery. I have some new scenery assets, so it's going to look more beautiful and you know it's going to be more fun to fly around and see the sights. Um, I've also been redoing the, the, I decided to redo the physics of the glider and I, I think this is going to help the game quite immensely. So I want to, in this video I kind of want to spend some time and show you what I've been prototyping on. So I'm going to jump into Unity here and here is our, you know, prototype scene. <laughs> Nothing special. So this glider now uses the Unity physics system. Before the glider, I just kind of hard coded the glider to use, you know, hard coded, hard coded physics. Um, but now it uses the physics, real world physics system. And to kind of give you an idea of what I mean, so you create a 3D object, right? So this cube, let's say this was my glider, it's, it's static, doesn't have any physics attached to it, doesn't have a rigid body attached to it. So <clears throat> this is kind of my glider before and I would just program it to kind of move forward, you know, right, left, based on the user input. But now uh, you can add, let's see, you know, physics rigid body. So now this box all of a sudden is using the real world physics system and you now you can increase the mass the box can kind of bounce around, you know, according to the forces applied to it. So now this is how the glider kind of works the same way. So if you hit play here, you know, our box falls to the ground. And our glider kind of works the same way. This this capsule represents, you know, like the the body attached to the, the hang the hang glider and here it's attached to some joints uh, hinge joints which is another part of the physics system and the wings are using a rigid body so it calculates lift based on you know, how fast you're going and everything and, and there's drag and you know, just to give you an idea here's all here's all the variables at play that are kind of working in the background on the physics so let me just fly this around and show you how it kind of works. So, let's see. So you can just kind of run forward here. And yeah. Uh, so yeah, this is, this glider is using real world physics uh, system now. now. It makes the gameplay more fun. You gotta. Gotta kind of watch you don't stall out or turn too sharply or hit things, you know. Uh, and so I'm gonna try to come in for a landing. Uh, so I'm there we go. Pretty smooth landing, you know. Uh, so yeah. Let's see. I'll I'll show you again here. So you can like. You can, like turn yourself around and you're like, okay, let's let's jump over here. I'm like jump jump now. I wanna kinda work on uh, the wind system, so I'm gonna I'm gonna create a new wind system so when you like approach a ridge like this, you'll be able to catch some like wind and go a little bit further airborne. Ooh, yeah. <coughs> Ooh, kind of stalled out there. Uh, and note, so you, so say you crash or you land nicely, you can kind of just choose to take off again. So it'll make, it'll change the gameplay quite a bit, and I'll probably be redoing the way the gameplay works. And currently in the game, you fly through hoops and stuff. I think I'm gonna have to redo the. The, the gameplay mechanic for that. So we'll see here. Um, so yeah, I'll kind of um, I'll make another video here when I get the wind system 
working and have some ideas of how that's gonna work. And uh, I'll show I'll, I'll make some more videos to keep to keep you guys updated. So let me know what you kinda think about this new uh, new way to fly around if you like the new physics share this video if you like what you see help support me um, you know every every little bit counts so thanks for watching and I'll just go I'll just kind of crash here <laughs> see where we hit this yeah. alrighty thanks for watching and we'll talk to you later